So every now and again we get a challenge. In this property we've got a gravity heating system. There was a boiler in here, an old fashioned Kingfisher. And uh, this was on a gravity circuit. And from the boiler there was a, an addition for an extension with a pump circuit. And we've had to add a new boiler to the system. I'll show you that in a bit. So what we've done to, to have hydraulic separation between the pump circuit and the gravity circuit, we've used an old second-hand low-loss header here. So we've got our flow coming in from the boiler circuit, coming into the header, and then we're able to run the gravity circuit from that. And then on the return, we've used close couple T's to run the pump circuit here. So there's no interaction between the pump and that secondary circuit. The other problem we've got here is this is a really dirty system and there's no chance of cleaning it being a gravity system. So I'll go to the boiler. Here we have the laundry drying my towels. So here we have a twin plate set up. This is just because I use standard plate heat exchangers rather than buying bespoke large ones and paying a fortune. So we've got the double heat exchanger here. The idea of that is that we need to have high temperature to drive the gravity system. So we want the smallest possible temperature drop across the system. We've got our pump on our return coming back from there. And because it's the only place we could fit it, we've got our filter on the flow from those now. Bearing in mind that the filters don't really work. This is a second hand one we had kicking around and they're multi-pass, which means they just gradually filter out some of the dirt in the system. Uh, it doesn't really matter if it's on the flow or the return in my opinion. So a sip, second hand pumps. We used a lot of second hand stuff here. Um, trying to keep the price down The Situation is the house is being sold off. So you just needed a new boiler in to keep it ticking over until it's sold off. But with the amount of dirt in the system, this would have brought the boiler crashing down in no time at all. So plate separation, hydraulic separation, and close couple T's, all in one system. A never before done feat. I hope that helps, and I hope you've enjoyed it.